Hey, thanks for checking out my video. So today I'll be going over how to make a custom model in Half-Life 1. So the whole idea started when me and my friends were playing a multiplayer mod for Half-Life 2, like, uh, around a half a year ago. And uh, we thought it would be funny if I had a low polygon count version of myself in Half-Life 1. <laughs> so I figured it would be nice if I made a long form video talking through how to make it. Since all the forum posts and tutorials online are written, and kind of hard to follow. I'll start by making a work folder to get organized. And as I struggle to name my folder, I'll overview what to expect. Um, so by the end of the video, you should be able to export models from the game, edit them to your liking, and then import them back in. I'll be using some open source software to do everything, and I'll assume that you already have a basic understanding of uh, Blender and Photoshop, but uh, later on I'll talk more about textures and UVs in Half-Life. So I won't be covering uh, how to install anything like 7-Zip, Steam Games, Steam itself, uh, Blender, you know, um, but I will be showing you how to configure and set up Jed's Half-Life Model Viewer. So um, basically you're just going to want to select everything but Blender source tools that'll get installed on its own. Then you'll want to right click, go to your 7-zip dialog, and then extract to separate directories. Studio MDL is basically a framework for uh, compiling models. MDL decompiler is in its name, decompiles them. Uh, the Half-Life model viewer file is just ha uh, Judd's Half-Life model viewer. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and run it. And after you go through all the dialogues, go ahead and launch it. So basically, you're going to not want to make the mistake I just did here. Uh, if you see that stream button, that means your computer just sees that you have uh, Half-Life installed somewhere else. So you'll want to change it to this computer and then install it locally. Uh, inside of your Steam directory, which uh, you can find by right-clicking the game, going to Manage and then Browsing Local Files, um, you'll see all the contents of it. Alright, so I'll assume you already have Blender. Um, if you're not familiar with Blender, or just want to learn more about it, or get more skills in it before you start doing this, uh, I'll leave a couple links to tutorial videos that helped me when I was learning how to use Blender. Uh, so, you'll want to start by going to your Preferences, going to Add-ons, clicking Install, uh, going to your Work Folder, and then finding the Source Tools uh, zip file. You can click the little checkbox to enable it, and it should be good to go. So after you click Browse Local Files, you'll get taken into your Games Directory. Then you'll want to go to Valve, Models, and then Player. And you can see all your MDL files, so basically the 3D files that uh, the game itself reads. Uh, these aren't directly readable by Blender, but with the plugin that you installed, you should be able to view them and, and import them and, you know, edit them. So in this case, I'm going to make a new folder for the original models, so my sources. I'm going to copy or copy over the player in player.mdl. Then in Jed's Half-Life Model Viewer, you can make sure that you're looking at the right one by uh, copying over the directory that you were just in. And then double-clicking it. 
and I realized I hadn't set the paths for Studio MDL or MDL compiler, so you're going to want to go ahead and go to the directories that those are in in your downloads folder. So I realized that the player model that I was trying to open relied on shaders that were only available through paths in the game's directory. So um, I'll show you again here. In this case, I'm just going to be editing the uh, like base shader model. So we're going to just use the uh, one from the player folder. Once you're sure that you're editing the right file, go to Tools, Decompile, find the MDL that you want to edit, and it should output into a new folder. In this case, it was just in the original uh, folder that Gordon's in. Again, this is completely optional, but if you want to check out the uh, QC file for Gordon, you can go to uh, your favorite text editor like Visual Studio or Notepad. Um, and if you scroll through it, you can basically just see where all the bones are parented to um, vertices, stuff like that. To import the file, I'll go to File, Import, Source Engine. Next, I'll make a separate folder where I make a copy of the original files, just to be safe. Then, going back to my importer, I'll find the dm underscore gordon underscore head one smd file or the high-res one. In this case, the only difference is that the high-res one's uh, used during deathmatch games, and the standard one is used uh, during the campaign. So you can double-click your file to open it. Once it's imported, uh, you can just use all the standard Blender navigation. You're going to want to switch your uh, view to material, and then you can go to the shading tab to uh, add all your textures to your model. Once you select the main mesh, you can go to your materials, then go to use nodes. Then you'll get the standard BSDF, but in this case, I'm just going to do flat shading. So I'll do an image texture by uh, pressing Shift A and then typing it in. Then from there, you can connect the node to your surface node. Then go to open, find your directory, and then you can just use the standard uh, bitmap texture. You can go ahead and do the same thing for the face texture. So in the model I made uh, around half a year ago, I thought it would be funny if I just took a bunch of pictures of myself and then uh, mapped them to UVs. So basically just like slapping a picture of myself onto a model, but in this case, I'm just looking up a bunch of pictures of pants that uh, don't have perspective to them. Uh, that's kind of the key is finding, you know, reference images that look flat so that uh, when you're actually mapping them, they don't look all warped and out of place. But I mean, it's gonna, <laughs> in this example, it's gonna look out of place anyways, because it's just goofy. Um, 
Also, for the sake of uh, example, I'm just going to change um, the hue of Gordon's face. You can go ahead and launch Photoshop to start editing your textures. And don't forget to pay your subscription. To start editing, go ahead and just select them, drag and drop, and then you can get to work. 